What's up, amazing people of YouTube? Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about UFOs. And this is my, my dog, G. She is a monster and she's my baby and she like, she thinks she doesn't weigh. You're pressing buttons. You're pressing buttons, baby, with your paws. Thinks she doesn't weigh anything. She thinks she's still a puppy, even though she's like 13, 14, 15 years old. Huh, baby girl? I'm just walking all over me, huh? No fucks given. It's all good. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about UFOs um, and my opinions about it. So a lot of this UFO stuff stems from World War II Nazis. No surprise there. No surprise whatsoever. These dudes were on top of their game. I don't know what it was, but they're like, dude, if it doesn't exist, we're gonna make it, <laughs> you know? They fucking rockets, uh, jet engines, nuclear lasers like the amount of things these dudes wanted to create was, was was just fucking ridiculous it was crazy okay so from all the years of research that i've done throughout the years i haven't worked like throughout the years of research um what i've come across is that the nazis basically um their source of information for UFO technology was Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla was... There's lots of writing where he refers to cities in the sky just floating around. Just floating in there. With, with like, just floating there. With no, no actual, like, uh, propellers and stuff like that, right? So after World War II ended... We were in a in a in a scurry with the USSR. We were in a mad hurry to to like, dude. We're, we got to get as many of these scientists as we can. We got to get as many of of samples of the shit they're working on as we can, and send them back to the states. And for USSR, send them back to Moscow or wherever the it was in Moscow at that time. Um, Send them back to Stalingrad or Stalingrad or wherever, right? So it's no wonder why, like, both the U.S. and USSR both developed rocket technology at the same time. You know, we all we both flew to the moon at the same because they jacked the same scientists we jacked. The head of our NASA was was a dude from Project Paperclip. He was a Nazi. He was a Nazi German, of which he, he was just too important for us to like. Hey, you know, if I, you know these war crime things. Well, you're kind of important, so we're, we'll throw that under the rug if like you end up working for us. And the dude did it. The reason why we have freeways in the U.S. You can thank thank the thank the Nazi German for one of, for that. You know, they they actually were responsible for a lot of shit in the U.S. Now, I don't condone Nazis, but at the same time, it is what it is. It's a part of history, and I'm not, I'm not going to look past the achievements of, of, of certain people, even though they ended up being ideology, their ideologies appeared to be extremely flawed. And they're not the first people that tried to wipe people off the face of the earth that's been going on since uh if, if you're religious Cain killed Abel uh, I mean hey <laughs> it's in our nature isn't it so why are UFOs so important now one of the largest UFO sight UFO sightings there ever was was in Arizona Phoenix it's called the Phoenix Lights. You can you can YouTube it. You can Google it. The Phoenix Lights, a giant triangle-shaped UFO, a mile and a half wide, just floating over Arizona. It flew over a few states, right? The governor of Arizona, gee, you know what he says to the people? He says, "Hey, people, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this because it flew over my house." So this asshole, what he does is he 
talks to the right people and asks the right questions and they get, tell them the right answer, which is that shit is ours. You need to shut the fuck up about it because it's ours. And um, so when he, he when he holds his press conference, what does he do? He says we found the culprit, and he comes out with a dude in a in an alien suit, and he, and he jokes it off, and that's the end of that. Now why Arizona? Because Area 51 is in Arizona. Area 52 is in Arizona. <laughs> Groom Lake is in Arizona. Area 51B is in Arizona. If you guys ever watched The Simpsons and know what I'm talking about. So, um, but yeah, Groom Lake, Area 51, that's where a lot of our black projects are. That's where a lot of our crazy ass futuristic technology is at. So, anything triangle shaped, it's ours. We created it, you know? Um, the winged aircrafts, like the B 2. And, and the various other ones, um, the B-2 bomber, the F-117, right? Um, the SR-71 is a unique one. I love the SR-71. SR-71 is looks like the Spear of Destiny. The Nazis also wanted the Spear of Destiny. If you Google Spear of Destiny, um, even in movies, you're going to see uh, what looks like a spear with gold foil wrapped around it. Well, that's not the real Spear of Destiny. Even though, so, but the SR-71 looks exactly like the Spear of Destiny from a top view, except they put some wings on it and some badass jet engines, you know? But it looks like the Spear of Destiny, the SR-71. To me, it does. I mean, that was just a no-brainer to me. As soon as I saw it, that's what I, I, I was like, hey, what the fuck, they made the Spear of Destiny, dude. So, uh... That's not the real Spear of Destiny. The real Spear of Destiny was just a regular spear, a Roman soldier spear. Um, what you're seeing is a spear with a nail put in it. Why would they put a nail in it? Because the original spear, it got it got taken by, by world leaders and who knows who has it. So what they did is they took a nail because Jesus was supposedly nailed to the, to the, to the cross, right? It was about his blood being on that metal. So there's three nails. Well, one of the nails, they put it in, in a spear. And they wrapped it with gold foil. So you don't contaminate it, you know? So that you can hold the spear. And that was a sign of power. It was a sign of, oh, uh, you know, God's on our side, you know? And he might not be on your side. So, gee... You think uh, God's on our side? It's like that. I don't give a fuck, bro. I do my own thing. You go, girl. You do your own thing. So, who knows whose side God is on? But, people uh, are fascinated with these objects. So, since people are fascinated with these objects, it's a source of power. And anything that's a source of power these dudes want because it's like saying hey man look what i have i have the spear of destiny my my war is a holy war it's a divine war god's on my side you know it's like bro i think you're kind of missing this this the point of god here <laughs> i don't think it's about waging war i don't think that's what it's about bro uh, i've lost my religion over the years but uh I, I can guarantee you, it's not about war, <laughs> you know? If that, wouldn't that be nice? Just, hey, God's on my side. He wants me to murder everything that I don't agree with, <laughs> you know? And I have the spear to do it with. So, um, now, UFOs and cow mutilation. Why cow mutilations? Well, the reason for cow mutilations with the Nazis, they also worked on nuclear, nuclear powered shit. So, so did we, the U.S. So did the Soviets and shit. And uh, what did we do when we created this technology? Well, the first thing we do with any technology, how do we weaponize it? We blew shit up because we're human beings. We love blowing shit up. Okay. Do I blame them? 
No, because I too would probably want to blow shit up because it's one of those things, you know? I'm one of those people, 4th of July is awesome to me, okay? So we blew things up. The second thing we did is, okay, now how do we use it as a technology? We, we created nuclear power plants. We created nuclear submarines. We created nuclear aircraft carriers and nuclear attack ships and whatnot. And some guy, anything we could put, that would make it, anything we could make massive. We built massive. And anything we could put, put some radiation to, we put some radiation to it, man. You know, let's let's split some atoms and let's let's power this thing, dude. So there's um you know every 35 years uh Freedom of Information Act they have to have to release certain paperwork and stuff. Well they don't have to release everything. There there's like people think like oh 35 years is up, you have to well that project's ongoing, so no, no. That one's not getting released. But certain things they do release. And one of the stuff they released was that they really wanted to build a giant aircraft carrier that flew. So an airplane aircraft carrier. And if this sounds familiar to you, they used it in the Avengers. It's called the Helicarrier. It's a hell of a helicarrier, right? But it runs off essentially propellers right really powerful propellers now our version of the real heli like helicopter wasn't a helicopter my i'm getting tongue-tied fucking uh that's your fault see that's your fault so um we created a giant triangle shaped nuclear powered aircraft aircraft carrier that would go into space and come back on target and release havoc like a motherfucker mile and a half wide you know and that was just the first one we built we have a second version a third version you know the phoenix lights it wasn't a one-time event it's happened about all of over a dozen times most people don't know that it's happened over a dozen times now why would the government be hush hush about this you know there, there's shit flying in our skies and the government is very passive the u.s government is very passive about it they're not like hold up a second is this is this like foreign you know are we in danger or like in the when it and when the door is closed, what are, what are, they're not like tripping out. No, they're not tripping out because it's our shit. It's supposed to be flying. It's supposed to be flying. And, and it's ours, you know? Um, so yeah, did I mention cow mutilations and how, um, anytime there's a radiation leakage right if the if there's radiation being released what happens is the first thing that goes bad is the milk milk goes bad so that's why there's so many cow mutilations and they're not just mutilated they're they're surgically mutilated it's like they took the cow put it to sleep like and they did a full autopsy like they drained the blood took the sacks they needed which were their milk sacks they took their tongues to see like if they were eating and chewing most likely particles would be in their stomach and or on their tongue now when people get radi radiation sick well, what they do is they give them iodine iodine um Basically, it goes into, I believe, uh, I forgot what gland it is. It's the gland, like, under uh, under the jaw. Some people, they lose, they have to get it removed because, um, for whatever reason, right? They need to get it removed, man. 
here i'll turn my emergencies on so you can pass me by bro and your subaru there you go and um yeah so they give iodine so that uh you don't stay like something about the penile gland it helps you fight off the radiation and not get crazy radiation sick and that's why they're mutilating cows for the longest time you know um it was just about finding out how radioactive are are there are the aircraft that we're building um obviously over the years we've perfected things and uh we found out all the data so we, we don't need to mutilate cows anymore so that's a good thing for cows and uh yeah if you guys want to hear more about this let me know um the next one I'm, I'm gonna cover is time dilation why time dilation uh is so important how it is connected to ufos and what a crazy wonder weapon time dilation is um i believe this is a real weapon we have it what is it how are we using it and how are we not using it what are my thoughts crazy ass opinions on geronimo am i really crazy girl or am i just local i don't know um you guys have a lovely day geronimo says bye right g say bye no okay <laughs>